Yay. Okay. Welcome, 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 everybody. I'm so excited to have you here. My next guest is Tashina, and she is a holistic and wellness coach. And she's here to talk to us all about how you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, right? Holistic lifestyle can be for you if it aligns with your goals, right? You're going to love her story. You're going to love her corporate background turned entrepreneur. It's amazing. So without further ado, I am going to welcome Tashina to the, well, she's already here, but I'm going <laughs> to let her take over and introduce herself and amaze you guys with her personality. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. I, I love having the opportunity to share my story and get on as many platforms as possible because I always tell everybody I am your favorite holistic wellness coach. And one of the reasons why is because I'm your atypical holistic wellness coach. So like I am not the crunchy mom that has 2.5 kids that homeschools with a dog. I'm allergic to animals. So, I mean, they're cool, but I'm allergic to animals. I hate do it yourself. Like, I don't understand. Like if you could buy it, like, what? why would I do it myself? I'm just, I'm just gonna buy it. And I come from the automotive industry. And so like, I come from the the place of like, we have a pizza party once a month and we get Buffalo Wild Wings and um, Jimmy John's and, you know, we get to 30s and we either have high blood pressure or high cholesterol and we get medicated. Like, and we start our day with a, a energy drink or four cups of coffee. Like, that, that is the world that I come from, y'all. Oh so like, so like herbs, I'm, I started using essential oils, y'all. I would go to the bathroom and close the door like I was sniffing crack so people wouldn't see. Like that's how that's how atypical it was for me. But I experienced stress. How many of you guys out there experienced stress? Especially in the past two years, right? I experienced stress. And when you get to your 30s, if you're not eating right and if you don't make certain changes, you start to have some issues. And so I got to 2014 and I started to have high blood pressure, which again. Everybody in my group did, so that wasn't a big deal. And I started to have gut issues. Then I started to have hormone issues, unexpected hormone issues. And then I was in two accidents in a matter of six months. And I just got sick and tired of being sick and tired, y'all. Like, I talked to everybody around me. And half of the other women who were young in their 30s were having body parts taken out. And I'm like, I think God put those in for a reason, though. Like, I don't want mine taken out. <laughs> They all had body pain and they all were exhausted. And I'm like, why does everyone in their 30s feel like they're 50s? Like, I, I can't do this for another 50 years. I don't know about y'all, but I can't do this for another 50 years. So I started trying to Google my way to good health and I started doing the basics, right? Sometimes we need reminders of the basics because I was working 60 hours in the automotive industry. So I was having Taco Bell and McDonald's because I was too tired to do anything else. So I cut out the fast food. I went and did a boot camp and I, I lost 20 pounds in six weeks to jumpstart myself because I was 190 pounds at the time, which is obese for me at 5'4". And since then, I've exercised regularly. I always have spinach and egg whites like every morning, no matter even if I'm traveling. And I changed all that basic stuff. I started drinking enough water. And then I just started Googling and looking for other supplements and other just things. And so I fell into some of these alternative things. And I was just so passionate about the drastic changes that I had in my life that I had to start sharing. And then within the last two years with everything that's going on, I had the opportunity to get these certifications. And so in the past year, I've been working with clients on all types of different things as an entrepreneur. So it, I will talk to people and they'll be like, you do holistic wellness and you do self-development. I don't I don't get it. But I, I always promote the eight dimensions of wellness, right? So emotional, social, occupational, physical, intellectual, and environmental, and financial. Some of those I don't touch, like spiritual is personal. So you, you get that journey on your own. I have um, people I can refer to in the financial, 
But really, all of the other ones, they just intersect. They just really intersect. And because I have the business background and I have a degree in marketing, you know, I can do some coaching of other coaches or coaching of entrepreneurs as well. And really, a lot of the blocks that entrepreneurs have are emotional. So if I can help you find some tools to get through some of those blocks through through neuroscience and subconscious reprogramming, I can help you go further even in your business as well. Yes. Oh, okay. First of all, I just got to say, one, you called me out within the first minute of that with the four <laughs> cups of coffee. I mean, I'm drinking coffee right now. So I'm like, oh, right. Um, number two, did you say that you were in your 30s? Because girl, like you, you look like you're in your 20s. Your skin is flawless. You look so young. So if that's not a testament to what changing your diet can do for you, yeah. you have to mention that story. And I can totally relate. I had all of those same issues. I was in college living on ramen noodles, right? Living that typical mm-hmm. college diet. And, and I had a lot of gastrointestinal gut issues. And I went to the doctor and they diagnosed me and they said, you will never get rid of this. And I was 19. Mm-hmm. And I just was like, I am too young to be getting diagnosis of, of things that they say I can never get rid of, right? I was just yeah. like that, even at 19, I was like, something doesn't feel right about that. Like there should still yes. be something I can do about this, right? So um, I, I can totally relate to you on that. Um, yeah, so for me, like, like my, my gut issues, I ended up having a, a minor allergy. That's what happened to me. My whole digestive system was messed up from my mouth to the end of my diet. I had five diseases, y'all. I had so I had a syphagitis, I had ulcers, I had um Schlotsky's ring, which means I had mucus building all up in here. Like I, I was it was just it was just terrible. But yes, I've been on this journey now for seven years. So this is seven oh. years of healthy of healthy living when I first started Googling um at the end of 2014. And my sister is an esthetician. So big ups to my sister that's an okay. esthetician. Yes. <laughs> so, and yes. she was the crunchy one. She's the, she been crunchy. She been crunchy. Mm-hmm. Like she the one who, so when I was getting, I was getting my facials and everything from her for 10 years and she was all natural already. So. Yes. Good for her. It shows. It shows. Yes. I love that. I totally love that. So let's talk a little bit about the switch, right? I always love to ask, what were you doing the day before you became an entrepreneur, right? Like I'm, yeah. I'm fascinated by these stories. Like what clicked for you that made you decide to start this? So um, I am in an amazing organization. Like I love my leadership. I love my boss. I was able to travel, but then my job changed. And this was prior because I'm in the automotive industry. And if y'all not in my state, y'all might not have heard about it. But like four years ago, there were all these strikes. And so like the shift within my job went from me being able to use a lot of my extroverted skills when I was doing um, reviews in the plants and traveling to doing more cost savings, which is, which is not aligned with my, my goals. And I still thankfully have had some opportunities to use my skills because I've done actually what I do for entrepreneurs and my coaching. I've done it at work for careers. (laughs) Like I did, I I personally took um, a program that helped me use strength finders in a way to create my personal brand and a power statement, et cetera. I paid $400 for a seminar to do that. And then I used it to coach other people in the automotive industry. And now I use this as a basis for my coaching. And so I just, I just got to the point where in my jo- career, because I am, I live in Michigan, y'all. I'm living the life. Like I'm, I'm like, this is what. Oh my, my kid works at GM. She has a corporate credit card. Like I'm living the life. But my job got to a point where more than sixty percent of it is not things that I love. And I love helping people, and I continue to be myself and show up and give one hundred and ten percent and. I've done some now that I'm no longer embarrassed of being the crunchy person. I've done mindfulness lunch and learns and I have one coming up and I and I serve as much as I can in my job. But I just feel like I want to be able to help millions, especially the people like me, especially the busy professionals that think I can't do that. Like I'm like, 
Let me show you how to meal prep. You know, let me show you the restaurants that you can go to. I, I rep for the people who, who don't have the time to do it or don't think. And I want to erase their excuses and let them know, no, you can do it in pockets. No, you can do it on your day off. You can you can still do this healthy lifestyle. No, you can you can find the quick things to cook that are still healthy without preservatives. You can just make sure you have fruit and vegetables every day, always on hand, because that's easy. So I just have the passion to go from helping the hundreds of people I've been able to over the past seven years here and there to helping thousands because it's just that important for me. And so right now I have several clients, thankfully, that I'm able to manage in the evenings and on my lunchtime, like right now. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm, I'm on track. I know exactly what my budget is. I know exactly what I'm trying to get. And I'm on track to quit my job April 1st. That is amazing. I love that so, so much. That is incredible. Oh, that's just, oh, I love it. I love it. That's so great. That's so great. Okay, so let's tell me about your your program. How what does it look like to work with you? What what are the benefits? What is the transformation? Like walk me through all of that. Yeah, so like I said, I have a couple of tracks and people sometimes <laughs> feel like they get confused. But honestly, what I do, no matter what area I'm in, is I help people turn chaos into clarity. When it came to me physically, I, felt, I was on seven medications. I didn't know where to start. I was like, I was just Googling and I was lost. And so I actually offer a biometric scan so we know exactly physically where you are, what your deficiencies are, um, and it analyzes your food. And then I we can we know exactly what you have to eat and you can rerun it every two weeks. And then I offer on the self-development side, strength finders to give us a basis. So when someone works with me, if they, it depends on what their needs are, but I usually have at least a one month plan. And a lot of times, most people need to do both <laughs> because even our deficiencies are going to show where we may not be doing well emotionally. Like if we're deficient in B12 and vitamin D, then that's not only going to affect us physically, but it's going to affect us emotionally. So I do one-on-one -on -one coaching and it's usually from one month to one year, just depending on what the person's needs are. And they can ask for the holistic wellness track, or they can ask for the self-development and emotional wellness track. And right now I've actually added on coach in your pocket. So that's a really good benefit we can get on Voxer, especially I think that's really important for the entrepreneurs and the emotional wellness because sometimes you're having a nervous breakdown and it's not the day of your appointment. <laughs> so, or sometimes you're like, but my, I'm going to give this pitch on Thursday and my appointment was on Tuesday. Now I'm having all these doubts on Thursday. So yeah. this gives them the opportunity to check in with me, like be a voice and I can give them, like I was chatting right before this with one of my emotional wellness um, clients who had a hard morning. So I'm able to like give them that support. So those are two of, of the different things that I do. So I do one-on-one -on -one sessions, usually from a month to a year, just depending on what your plan is and how far we need to take you and what you need to do and go. And then the coaching your pocket portion for that immediate response so that anytime you're up, I can help you get, every time you're down, I can help you get back up. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Of course, it's a holistic approach. Of course, you've got, you've thought out like the long-term and then that the quick wins. Yeah, so you're fully supported. That's amazing. Um, do you work with children as well with the the health and wellness, like the biometrics? Because I feel like that would be really useful for my kids. I do. I absolutely do. Like, I mean, I love children. Like anybody that knows me, like I love children. Um, part of the reason why I needed so much emotional work myself is that I had a hard childhood, and so that's oh, yeah. children are a huge part of of what I do. And honestly, one of my biggest wins, like last week that just brought me to tears, was one of the people that I'm working with. She had her six-year-old son like send me a message on Boxer saying, I want to tell you that I love your deep breathing video. Like that was like 
the sweetest thing to me. I'm like, oh, I'm a check. I'm like helping the second generation. And he and she's like, yeah. Now he reminds me, Mama, you gotta deep breathe when he sees when he sees me getting upset. He's like, Mama, deep breathe. So yeah, the the scan is done via voice and tactile remotely. So as long as the child is old enough to be able to speak, it will work with them. And um, I have 11 nieces and nephews. So definitely like wow, I'm all that's about. that's amazing. Okay, awesome. Yeah, because one of my daughters is slightly preemie and we had a lot of issues with her with her gut. And even now that she's nine still, right? Like yeah. um, she's, I've noticed she's very sensitive to fried foods. She's very sensitive to food coloring. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. And then as a toddler, oh my gosh, it was, it was hard with her. So another chapter in my story that I can share. <laughs> so um, when the world shut down, I started to slightly have some hormone issues again. Uh, I started to notice a little bit of heavier bleeding. And so I went to my doctor and she's like, do you have any pain? Do you have anything? Do you have this, this, this? And I was like, no. And she's like, okay, we'll come back when it's bad. And I was like, no, I've been here before. I did this. I'm not waiting until I'm suffering. So I booked myself an appointment to functional medicine. Well, the world shut down. I couldn't get in. Things, the excessive bleeding got a little bit worse. I get to functional medicine in, in November and they take my numbers and they're like, something's like your mess. Like what's wrong with you? Like on the inside, I didn't feel terrible on the outside, but on the inside, they're like, you're, you got too much testosterone. Your pathways are a mess. Like you're coming up as pre-diabetic. And I'm like, I've had been leaning towards keto. I'm like, I eat healthy. I exercise. I drink water. Like what is wrong with me? This doesn't make yeah. any sense. Um, so she's like, well, try going vegan. Um, hopefully that will help with the hormone issues and that'll get rid of some of the stuff. So I went vegan. And then I went to my doctor in February and I was severely anemic. <laughs> like, thankfully, because um, I do all these holistic things, I was just like, okay, take more B12 and do this and do that. And I was like, I was like compensating. So I didn't feel terrible. And then in November, I had a death in my family. So I think I was feeling like a little bit tired, but I was just like, oh, maybe it's this, maybe it's that. But my hemoglobin was at 7.1. Wow. I should not have been able to walk like before when I was anemic, I would be fainting at 10 and I had no iron in my system. None. Like all the hematocrit, the, all of that, it was, it was at, all of it was at zero. Um, so that's a testament to, to adjusting your, your natural things because somehow I was functioning like a normal human. But, um, from then I, I went to hematology and they're like, uh, eat a little bit of meat, like eat a little bit of meat. So now I'm flexitarian and I eat meat when I am excessively bleeding because that seems to be the best way. So I started using this scan for myself, running the food scan every two weeks, every two weeks, eating what it said. When I went back to the doctor in four months after 120 days later, everything was fine. Like all that, I was no longer pre-diabetic. My hemoglobin was normal. Iron was back in my system. And so I, I really love it. And I really <laughs> think it's a good thing for everyone because I do it with a lot of people that are eating healthy. And it's those little adjustments is so hard. When you're doing 90% right, you really need a little bit of extra in details because I'll look at someone, I'm like, you need to eat a little less field greens and you need to eat some more bitter, bitter greens because you need vitamin C. Like, it's just little things. It's not even like they're eating horrible. It's just because that's, I've been through it. I was eating healthy, yes. but yes. it was like, no, you got to adjust here. You got to adjust here. And you will find what your individual body needs. So there are some things that I need every day. There's some things I need every week. There's some things that I need monthly. And my body sometimes is a lot different than what healthy is. I was somebody hit me up in my inbox and I was chatting with her for a little bit. She's like, you should do a celery cleanse. Celery cleanse will get rid of all your hormone issues. Well, guess what? Celery comes up as eat less on my skin almost every time. My body doesn't respond well to celery. Everyone else in the world will have good response to celery. I don't. And guess what? Sometimes potatoes and white rice comes up on mine because I'm a high metabolizer of carbs. So other people need to cut out all the white stuff, but occasionally exactly. I need to eat it. So that's what I really love about the individualized approach. Yes, girl, I'm sold. 
Like sign me up, <laughs> sign up my whole family, just line us all up and do what you do. I, I'm serious. I'm serious. I will document. I will like whole nine yards because I find this fascinating. And I do, yeah. I agree with you at this point. I feel like I've gotten us as far as I can get us, but now I'm looking at my kitchen and I'm like, I feel like I've gone from a, a traditional pharmacy to a natural pharmacy. And I right, think to right, myself, right. is this really any better? Am I really doing any better? Or am I just doing what I, what I think is better, but I don't know how to explain it. Except for when I look at the No, bottle, I get it. I get it. I get it. All the bottles, yeah. all the pills. I'm like, is this like, where, where's the line here? Right. Cause I could have died. I mean, it was great that I didn't feel terrible because I was using natural caffeine and because I was, you know, that's great that I didn't feel terrible, but I still could have died. Like <laughs> if my hemoglobin kept dropping, then it wouldn't have been a good thing. I had to figure exactly. that out. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I went through the same thing. I went through the same thing. And that is not a fun experience to have that conversation. Like when yeah. you, you know, it's serious when they use yeah. words like that. Like, right, you know, right. Like it's like everything stops, everything shuts down. Um, when they talk about hospitalization, infusion, death, you know, mm-hmm. I had the same conversation and yes. your life flashes before your eyes and you're like, I'm married. I have kids. I was just like, <gasps> you know, yep. so, Absolutely. uh, the only thing that saved me from every two weeks getting a blood transfusion was that some, my body was trying, attempting to reproduce my own blood cells. Yeah. Um, so they were like, you at least have that going for you. So I was able to just do the oral, um, iron and I had to go for like several months to make sure that it was being absorbed before they yeah. were like, oh, okay, you're good to go. And I still take it to this day. It's like two years later. Um, so I I'm so in, I am so in if all I need okay. to do. Yeah. I will, I will get you the link of how to do this. Game yeah. If all I need to do is tweak my diet and all of these things can go away because over the last yeah. four years we have eliminated toxins. You know, we've gone all natural as far as body care, home care products, cleaning products. And then eventually I got over to the food. So we eat organic now. Right. right. And, and all of our medicine is natural, but I still feel like it's such an accumulation. Yep. Yep. Yeah. We can definitely work on that. We can definitely work on that. <laughs> that makes me so happy. That makes me so happy. Like I am, I like, I don't have, I love how you're like, I'm not the crunchy mama. Like I am so crunchy. I it, it's like cereal all over the floor. That's how crunchy I am. Right, right, right. Like I pack my own soap, my shampoo, like everything. My husband's like, please, can we just use what's in the hotel? I'm like, absolutely not. Like I am that person, right? right? Like right, fried right. free toothpaste, like right. everything. <laughs> everything. I bring it, I pack it. If I can't find it, buy it, I make it. Like I am that person. I'm so committed. And yet I have these lingering issues. And so yeah. I'm, I'm really like, I feel like I am your, your person that you're looking for. Yeah. I, I promise you that's where I was. I was so frustrated when I walked out, when I walked out of functional medicine, I'm like, how? I'm a holistic wellness coach. How am I pre diabetic I'm exercising. I'm eating right. I'm so angry. <laughs> That's me. That's me. That's where I'm at right now. That's where I'm at right now. Right. I'm, yep. I'm like, yes, yes. That's where I'm at. Um, the other thing, if you don't mind me asking you about this, um, the deep breathing, like, I yeah. feel like that's the next step for me. Um, yeah. So that's what I think I want to, I want to share with your audience. Yes. Like I do have this, I do have a free video donation or whatever video, Um, and it's a 15 minute. So yeah, that was for me. Okay. So I'm an extreme extrovert, obviously, obviously. Um, and so like when the world shut down, I was depressed, like, and again, this is year four, five of me doing all the things and I'm sitting here and I'm depressed. Right. And then started reading, doing all this stuff. And then had a little bit of like recovered resurfacing trauma And so I heard one of the best quotes from one of the um, touch therapists that I work with. She said, just remember that just like if you were sick anyway else and you go to the doctor and sometimes they have to increase your dose, that when it comes to what we're going through right now, collective trauma, things we've never experienced, you have to increase your dose of natural medicine as well. And so... Five years ago, the mindfulness and deep breathing and 
pausing for five minutes. That was not anything that I did. But for me, for what I was experiencing, I needed to add that on just to get myself emotionally regulated and just to get through some of the things that I was doing. So again, thankfully, I feel blessed that I've been able to share that in Lunch and Learns at my automotive job and to have a director come to me and say, you know, that that breathing technique that you taught us, like I've been doing that in the morning and at lunch and right at the end of work. And it's just changed my life so that I do have. So I actually do have like some courses that I put together. One is more on the self-development. One is on the um the holistic side and the last one is the guided mindfulness and again it's my style right so it's like 5 10 15 at the most videos but it's designed for you to go through it in 30 days and with the intention of not needing me as a practitioner but to develop the habit develop the habit of when you get stressed instead of blowing up now you know to do some touch therapy now, you know, pull out your phone and like journal out your feelings for two minutes because it'll pass. Now, you know, grab an essential oil and deep breathe for two minutes because if you deep breathe for two minutes, you can change your whole emotional state. And so I will, that's the, the free gift I'll share with your audience. It's, it's this 15 minute, and this is the one that I did share with um, my automotive audience, one of them. I've done two lunch and learns. And so it combines the best techniques of mindfulness. It has a suggested essential oil in it. It has deep breathing. It has visual visualization. It has body scan. So I try to combine a lot of the mindfulness techniques. And then from there, you can replay the video over and over, or you can try to do some of the modalities on your own separately. Yes, I love that. That sounds so valuable. I'm gonna like download that right now. Like as soon as we get off here, I'm gonna be like breathing one before I pick the kids up from school because I promise you they get in the car and it's right. So yeah, mindfulness for everyone. Again, that's that's another thing that I promote, right? Like I'm like, yeah, I didn't spend two years in Tibet and learn all the mindfulness things, but um. Yeah, I'm not a for I didn't have this enlightenment and I was going to I was a monk for two years. No. I just was stressed and I needed some more tools. <laughs> and yes. deep breathing has been helping me and being aware and consciousness and all these mindfulness techniques. They really have changed my life. I mean, I didn't even know because I was so busy that I just was walking around with like all this stress and tension here. And now that I've started the, these mindfulness practices, I can sit in silence. I can just sit in silence and I have less stress and less tension. And when I get triggered very frequently, I can automatically regulate myself because I've practiced, you know, 30 days in a row. I did my own 30 day mindfulness. I paid for a 30 day mindfulness. and I was like, man, this is helpful. This is other people need this. And so I created a course about it. Yes. I love that. This is so beautiful. Like it's just the best. <laughs> That is the best of the best. Like to me, that is like just uh, what we're here for, right? And yeah. when you get that validation, when you get those client results, right? And when they thank you for helping them and when you really change somebody's life, I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm guessing it's the same. Like that's why, that's why I do what I do. And it seems Absolutely. like that's why you do what you do too, right? Absolutely. Uh, that is our, that is our gift. So I just want to thank you first and foremost for spending time with us and talking to us about that, sharing the incredible deep breathing exercise, because I am very excited about that. <laughs> very, very excited about that. Um, so let us know if anybody's watching that wants to uh, work with you one-on-one -on -one or wants to take one of your courses, what's the best way for them to get in touch with you? Yeah, um, Instagram. I publish a lot on Instagram and my my milkshake link with everything how to get in touch with me is on there on Instagram. So you can follow me at Sweet Canela 5. So that's S-W-E-E-T-C-A-N-E-L-A-5 on Instagram. And just shoot me a direct message. Let me know where you came from and how I can help you, what you can get. And like I said, I will give you the the links. I'll give you the two links, the one for the free gift of the guided mindfulness, again, 15 yes, minute yes. session that has that. You can publish and share that. And I'll give you personally the link to the biometric scan 
and it has both of them will have videos where I kind of explain what it is first but okay okay perfect great so what I'll do is I'll share those links in the comment section of this video and then also follow up and share um, the links as well so that if anybody's interested we will make sure to get you plugged in and get you the solution that you're looking for because she has multiple tracks and she can help you with different things so just let us know and um i will definitely share your instagram so that people can go over there and follow you and connect with tashina on instagram isn't she so fun i just love her so much <laughs> uh, i, I want to have you back again and like maybe we could do like actually have like a walkthrough of some sort right yeah yeah i would love to do i love doing that yeah i could definitely we could definitely do a mindfulness session together yeah yeah just time. do yes i would love that like something that we could really sink our teeth into right and put put a little bit of practice behind this conversation because this was so fun i love it so much all right is there anything else that you want to share with our audience before we wrap up i just want to say just start guys like well, no matter where you are like we've both been there i get it and i've been there more than once <laughs> and it's not fun when you feel like you're doing all the right things and you're tracking through mud it's not fun i've been there but the way to fix it is to get into action that's the only way like sitting where you are isn't going to help so whatever your stuck is whether it's your physical things your emotional things or feeling like you're lost in your business just get into action ask for help like to get on my calendar i spend an hour or an hour and a half with somebody for free like just just ask for help i have my own coach i've spent ten thousand dollars in coaching and courses and all the things like we're here to help like that's what we want to do and i have over 100 videos on youtube like you can ask me a question and i probably got a video i can send you for free so act and ask for help yes i love that so much thank you thank you for just being so open about that and just you know sometimes it's true we just are afraid to ask right we're just afraid to ask for help right yep. so i really appreciate you offering that out there and i hope whoever's listening that needs it will take advantage of it because that's an amazingly generous offer all right well that is a wrap for this conversation say goodbye to Shina, but i am going to be sure to ask her very nicely to come back because i've just enjoyed <laughs> this so much we definitely need more of her in here uh, so we will make that happen and we will be back but for now this is a wrap i hope you've enjoyed it any questions you know what to do leave them in the comments and i will get you plugged in with tashina if that's what you want to do thanks so much for being here have a great day bye bye, -bye.